Hello, welcome guys. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having an amazing day. And if you haven't already, let's give the Lord some praise. So we're working on this right here. I am a breast cancer survivor and um, I wanted to make a basket for somebody that's dealing with breast cancer. So uh, I decided to come on camera and make it with you all. Uh, so, I tell you all the things that I got to put in it. I got this bandana right here. I already got a towel for the, uh, like where the, uh, uh, paper go. I used a breast cancer towel. I got this, uh, bandana right there because when I was going through breast cancer on my, uh, first treatment they took all my hair out I was using a medicine that they called the red devil and it's to kill cancer uh, like hard to kill cancer because my sister two years before I got it my baby sister passed of breast cancer she was 32 and two years later I got it so the oncologist didn't want to mess around because he wasn't expecting my sister to die but God said different so it went from my sister's breast to her brain to her spine and in six months the lord took her home so with me they wanted didn't want it to waste no take no chances so they started me off on the highest dose and plus on my father's side it was a history of cancer and after i got through with cancer I took the BRCA test to see if I carry the gene. So I do carry the gene. And I have three girls. So they have to do a little bit more than the average people, you know, do. They have to get tested more and they have to start getting tested early. Uh, I cannot express it enough. If you feel something and you think it's something, go to the doctor because I didn't have a lung. My breast cancer was in a, it, it was just flat and in a mass not no lump or nothing just flat and in a mass and since I had a higher percentage of cancer rate I did all of the things that I needed to do I got a double mastectomy I got a hysterectomy I went and got my port placed and then I started chemo and I went through chemo two and a half years on different I did the chemo treatments. Then I had to go do the shots. And it was just a long process. And I went three times a week. I went on Monday. I went on Wednesday. And I went on Friday. That's starting off. And my treatments kept me in the bed. Kept me in the bed. Kept me so sick. It's just the worst feeling in the world. And then... To top it off, I had uh, took a medicine that was on recall that it was not letting people's hair grow back. And guess what? I got that medicine. And uh, my, I used to have hair past my shoulders. And I haven't got but this much of an afro. So I'm in a... a uh, class, ac class action lawsuit for that medicine taxateer. So if they ever try to give you taxateer, make sure it's not the one that was on recall. So we're going to go jump. That's just a little bit about breast cancer and why I'm so passionate about it. Uh, so we're gonna jump right on into this basket and uh, I decorated uh, the butterfly. I decorated the basket. And this is the, I have a notebook I'm gonna put in there. I have a koozie with breast cancer on there that I'm gonna put in there. I have some uh, little elastic bands that I wanna put in there. I got this soap because it was pink and pretty that I want to put in there. This 
is my holy grail because this is what got me through. So I want to put a, a Bible in there because that's the only thing that kept me through my treatment. I quit. I quit treatments about twice because it just made me sick and I just didn't want to do them no more. And so I quit about t two times. But I had to think about my kids, which was young at the time. And so I went back and started back. But I quit twice because it was just too much on my body. Uh, so a holy Bible, that's what got me through. I'm going to add some prayer cards with it. I'm going to add a pen. It's around here somewhere. As I told you, I couldn't stand no wig or nothing on my head, so I'm going to add a bunch of bandanas because that's what I wore. I'm going to add some socks. I'm going to add this pen. I'm going to add this rose bear. Uh, I got a... Uh, it's one of those sexuals that you know wear on your back and it and you can put stuff in it when you go to your chemo treatments. Uh, so I can put that in there, a sexual, or however you say it, sex, sexual, sexual, whatever it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. One of those bags you put on your back and it got the little drawstring uh, things. I got a, a headband thing because uh, when I was going through cancer they did a, a feel good class where they uh, taught you how to do things to make you feel good about yourself even though you're going through treatment hold on guys I forgot some of my stuff over here I'm going to add some pink wipes just because they pink and I got this brooch right here that my cousin gave me one when I was going through chemo, so I'm going to pass it, uh, this one uh, along to somebody also, and it lights up, but you have to pull the thing out, so I'm not going to pull it out, but this is a pinch, a pink rose brooch. I'm trying to save it all at one time. And then last but not least, I got a whole lot of things, guys. I got this cover right here because in the chemo when you go to do chemo it's cold in there so a cover to take with them i got them a bracelet and another brooch i got them this with a football right here this says hope and carriage these passions I got a candle that I decorated like the top of this I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room to put it in there but a candle and last but not least I got the rug that we got from CVS with another pin on there that says cute so we're gonna start this off. We already at eight minutes, guys. I don't like long videos. So we're gonna try to put this together as fast as we can. I like the way that looked right there. We're gonna put the bear in there. That's the focal point I wanted to be on that bear. But that satchel, satchel, what backpack? Got to go in there some kind of way. And y'all don't laugh at me. I just can't say it. So we're going to call it a back. And we're going to put it somewhere over here. Like that. And we're going to tape it up because it ain't going to stay by itself. So we're going to add a little bit of tape. So how's everybody doing today? If you haven't already given the Lord some praise for allowing you to see another day, join me and we will tell them thank you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see this day that was not promised to us. Because of your grace and your mercy, Lord, you allowed us to see it. And 
but we want to say thank you. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it made me lose my tape. So we're going to put that right there. Straighten up that a little bit. Then we're going to put the bear right there. And y'all, it's in the ottoman. The ottoman that we got from a, dollar, a family dollar for $2. That's one of them. And so the next thing I want to add is the cover. I think the next thing I'm going to add is the house shoes. And I'm going to take them down so they don't move. I'm so how is that looking to you guys so far? If you haven't already subscribed, hit Please hit the subscribe button, please, and thank you. So how's everybody day going today? What is the weather like in your town? What do you have planned for today? Just drop it down in the comment section, and let's get a conversation started. And I can get to know you, and I told you about me at the beginning of this video, but we're going to move right along because we already too far. Too far, too far. So we're going to put the little headband right there. I know we're going to cover up the house shoes. But they can see a little bit of them. I don't know if I can see them. So we're going to put the little thing right there. And, uh, and I'm going to think we'll put the holy bobble in there. We'll put it right in front of the cover. Right there. And then the prayer cards in front of that. Like that. And then I'm going to add the koozie. So how's everybody day today? Mine was good. Uh, I woke up, did my Bible reading, and uh, sometimes I get bored, and uh, so I door dash today. Um, when I get bored, I try to find things to do, so I got bored today, and I started back door dashing after, I used to do it all the time, because I didn't have nothing to do, uh, after about five years, so I got to get my mind refreshed, so I was running like a chicken with my head cut off yesterday, so I'm going to take this, uh, and we're going to put it right here. Take it down in the front. And since we're right there, we're going to take the other one. And we're going to put it on this side. What else we got? I wanted to add that football. Maybe I can add it right in the house shoes. I hope. Uh, I don't think it's going to stay there. got too much thing on the cover. Maybe. Just bring 
the air right there. Can you see it right there? We'll put it right there for right now. Okay, we got the soap. How about adding the soap? Right here. Hold in a row. Flowers. I like that. I like that. We're going to take the Hope Journal. We're going to add it in this pocket. I'm going to scoop it down a little bit. And then we're going to raise it down. Uh, I want the bandana to be seen. Be seen. I spent in a, Maybe if we do it like that. Is the hope still showing here? And we got to hold it up right there. Do I have any glue there? Yeah. Hold on, guys. Let me get these glue here. I know I don't talk much. Uh, that's why I pre-record my videos so I don't have to do much talking. And plus, I'm shy. Uh, so, I I haven't even did a live. And I don't have this channel forever. Because I'm just, I don't know, I'm shy. But I tell you one thing. When God wants you to speak because I was so shy. Uh-oh, I forgot Guys, I forgot the uh, body wash. I forgot I had got this body wash out. So we're going to put the body wash in here too. And we're going to just set it. Right there. Right there. Uh, wanted me to speak at a, a cancer survivor thing at church. And I said, oh, I said, I don't think I can do it. They said, yes, you can. I said, no, I don't think I can do it. I'm too, too shy. And I, I said, y'all can put me down. I said, I might have, to, I might just come up there and stand with the other ladies because it was a bunch of us that had cancer. And, uh, and so they had it. And don't you know, I got up there, I prayed, I fasted the day before, and I prayed before I went to the to the thing and when I got up there words were just flowing out of my mouth because God stepped in and took all of that away and let me let me go on and talk so we're gonna clip the uh, pen so I say I'm shy but if the Lord wants you to do something, He has ways. He has ways, and He will help you. So, one day I'm going to get the get the carriage and make a lot. So we're going to put that right there. We're going to find somewhere to put the coochie down. Mm -hmm. I'm like out of that up there. So if we put it, fold it down and tape it, we can put it right there in front of the Ole and then you can still see the Ole, but also see this. And we just put a little dot on this one too. So, yeah, I don't usually talk in my videos and I'm have to get used to uh, coming up here putting baskets together with y'all and we're gonna put it right there where you can see it and you can still see the Ole I want this little brooch maybe if I take it and put it right there through there maybe Oh, it's just a switch. See how it lights up? That's cute. We're going to cut it out because we still want them to get the enjoyment out of it. So we're going to open it up. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And we're going to stick it right here in the seed bed. Like that. That's cute. Excuse me for walking in front of the camera. But that's cute. And that's where I'm going to place it at. Now, how many more things we got? We got this socks. I'm going to fold them up. Mm, I don't even think I'm going to be able to make a pencil thing, sure. But we still going to fold them up. And we're going to place them right in front of the bag. It'll be all right. Then we got this other headband. I'm going to fold it up also. Set it right there. You can still see it. And I'm trying to think. Do I want to put this candle in there? Or will it, is it going to be too much? Mm. Sorry guys. I'm just walking out in front of the camera. I'm trying to see if it's going to be too much. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it's too much? Or do you think it's all right? It might be all right. This uh, tuck this uh, I'll lay down. I don't want to put no tape on there. Maybe go through all these little dots and maybe it'll hold it. Thanks, so. Take the tape and take it to the Is that everything? See, I had a lot of, I just had a lot of, I had this roller, but I think it'll be too much, you know. Because if I put that right there, it's going to carry the bear. So I think I'm about done, and I think I'm going to leave it just like this. And then put my flowers right in here. Over the How about a pick? How about a pick? I think that's cute. I think that is cute, cute, cute. I gotta put my leaf up there. Mm -hmm. I think that's cute. And see, I put a little breast cancer thing in there also. So guys, we had 24 minutes. I didn't want it to take this long, but I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching me put this breast cancer uh, basket together, something that's dear to my heart, something that I went through. And I know with God's grace and His mercy, that he only gives us battles that we are strong enough for. And I thank God for my journey with my cancer, my cancer journey, because it was a lot of things that I didn't need in my life. And when I got cancer, God took them away from me. 
So I thank the Lord for my cancer because I used to drink, I used to be an alcoholic. And he took that taste out of my mouth. I used to go out and party and all of that. He took that away. And now I'm just living for him, trying to spread his word to others, to let him, let them know that God can be anything that you needed him to be. And if you have a sincere heart, God will take any addiction away from you. It's not too hard for him. And if you ask him, he will do it. So I thank God that he gave me the journey that he gave me because he changed my life a whole 360. So I'm going to get up out of here. And if you're dealing with cancer, I pray for you. I know you're going to win this battle. Only... If you depend on God, not only if you depend on God, I'm just saying depend on God. I know you're going to win this battle. Depend on God and get the test that come along with the journey. And don't be quiet about God's goodness. Don't be quiet about it because He is good. And if we let others know the goodness of the Lord, then we can draw others closer to Him. If you are not close to the Lord, get close to Him. If you don't know Him, get to know Him. And never look down on anyone unless you're looking down to help them up. And until my next video, I hope each and every one of y'all have a blessed morning, night, noon, evening. Whatever it may be when you see this video, I hope you have a blessed one. And until my next video, everybody be blessed. Please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Drop down in the comment section and let me know that you did it so I can come back to your channel and do the same. And I know it's long, but if you made it this far, I really, really appreciate you. I really appreciate you for taking time out your day. I really appreciate you for taking time out your day to watch me. Be blessed.